Hey again, it's Say Luke, and this today time period, current time period that I am technically still a part of, I um, went to um, and skated for about two, yeah, two hours at uh, Chaparral, and today I focused mostly on turns and skating backwards. Mostly on turns, though. I um, looked up a video on how to do tight turns and uh, found a more detailed explanation of the thing I kind of halfway figured out last weekend, but um, I found out how to do it properly and how to and how to um, increase um, how to do it as um, as far as what my knees and upper body how it should be doing at the same time, um, not just turning my foot, but also bending my knees and turning my knees in that direction, etc. And I was able to make pretty quick turns. Um, I got some footage of it, and I, I'm, I also worked on U-turns as well. I got some footage of it, but uh, I tried to get my f footage of me doing U-turns, uh, but I tried twice, and you'll see that each time uh, figure skaters uh, took up the circles around the areas where I went, um, it got really, really busy, so I moved it to the other end of the rink, and then as soon as I started setting up and doing stuff, then uh, they would move to start practicing over there too. So um, I didn't get that many pictures of or pictures footage of um, U-turns, but I did. Uh, I did um, get some of uh, me trying to do uh, skate backwards as well as attempting to learn the see stuff with my left foot. So that was fun. I um, also um, last night I. Um, went uh, rollerblading and I think I got at least a mile and a half out of it. I'm not sure. I didn't actually, maybe next time I'll put, get one in an app that tracks how far I go, but um, but yeah, I, uh, I played this game called Delta T and part of the uh, premise is you go around um, uh, capturing other players' power cores to power your base and keep them from powering their base. And you, It's an augmented reality game so you have to go kind of like Pokemon Go, where you have to actually go to the location and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, um, I decided that um, I could um, go pretty much double the distance if I went on the rollerblades, and so I did. And I made the mistake of going an alternate route home, and uh, on a road that wasn't really up, kept up very well. And uh, but yeah, I. Uh, I actually did get a whole lot accomplished in the game, uh, but on my way home, I was planning on going a really extra long way, but I started getting dehydrated and I didn't have enough water, and I didn't have water to drink, so I decided to try and take a shortcut home, which ended up incorporating a few nice-sized hills. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I was almost back to the road that takes to um, the road that goes home to my apartment, and. The sidewalk was really bad. <laughs> the sidewalk was really, really bad. Um, I don't know why I stayed, well the road was also not very good, so I think the sidewalk was actually better. And uh, the shadows kind of obscured whether or not the tile, sidewalk tiles or what flags or stones were even or not, and so I almost fell down a bunch of times, but this time I, um, I was almost to the stoplight where I would turn right and be a pretty much straight shot home and uh, there were some guys out talking by their car and um, they got out of my way as they saw me coming and then right as I passed them wham I, I fell face first um, I didn't hit my head or anything and I actually barely got any scraped up really at all but um, I took karate back when I was like in high school and when we were doing the grappling stuff, we really, really focused on learning how to fall. So I didn't even think and um, put my arms out like, you know, this in front of me um, as flat as I possibly can so you don't, you know, break your elbow or your um, forearm or anything. And so I fell down. I, I didn't even stop. I just got back up and got going and the guys behind me were like, yeah, 
<laughs> that's, that's, they, they did ask if I was okay as I was getting away, but they, uh, but yeah, um, that was, I, I was actually pretty proud of myself because, um, like seven years ago or so, if that had happened, I would have just quit out of embarrassment, quit skating out of embarrassment, so I actually kind of, I'm actually really proud of myself for how I handled that, um, uh, um, thinking of how far I've come since being super insecure about myself and everything, um, still dealing with that a little bit, but not nearly as much, um, although I think I like falling down on ice better than I do pavement, I'll have to fall down on ice more to actually be sure about that, but ice is not, it doesn't have scrapey rough bits on it, so, but yeah, um, I, uh, here I'm gonna play the footage of what I did and then I'll, you know, do any normal thing and talk about how I thought I did afterwards, so. Definitely better at left turns than I am right turns. Um, I also um, worked on crossovers because I realized that when I was working at the pond that um, I really need to work on crossovers. Um, and um, 
I found that the crossovers really work in conjunction with this type of a turn uh, because um, I remember in one video it talks about you, you move your like they're crossing over kind of into as you step over kind of a you kind of make an X with your feet kind of but, um, um, and so it kind of locks and then you cross over and everything and so it, it uh, at least it worked with me that way um, but um, I really like how it feels to make a really tight turn like that though I know um, it's gonna take more practice for me to get really good with it like uh, the video I um, watched had him almost had have the skates totally in line with each other for a really really tight like around a cone type turn and I know I'm not at that level yet but I know I can get there um, I just need to practice um, and uh, I really need to uh, focus on turns a lot because I found out that it and just watching the guys at the pond when they were um, practicing shooting and stuff like that they were able to move around the puck as they needed to really well and I think and so I'm going to pay attention to um, what they do and um, as well I mean it's always good a good idea to pay attention to who, people who are better than you uh, so you can kind of get what they're doing with their feet and uh, I think another thing I realized is I really, really just need to relax. I tense up way too much, which makes me um, uh, you know, second guess myself when I'm trying something. So that's another thing that I really need to work on is just relaxing when I'm going. Um, um, I'm not as afraid of falling down as I was when I first started, so um, I guess I will uh, yeah, let myself do that more often so I can get used to it and not worry about it. Um, not worry about it because it, it, honestly, I made a much bigger deal about it in my head than it actually was. Um, I'm sure if I was, um, I, I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna be totally reckless or anything, um, but um, after that, I, I felt a lot more comfortable taking more risks, um, especially with the turns. Um, not so much around um, when there's a lot of people, because I'm I know realistically I'm not that good at maneuvering as some of the guys that I've seen are. But you know, that, again, that will come in time. Um, I as far as going backwards, I can do it, but I'm not very good at it. And I'm I really need to watch a video or two about how to do it better. Um, I saw some people at doing skating lesson to another. Um, doing it and I was too busy working on turns to really f focus on what they were doing but I did kind of watch them a little I did try and watch them a little bit uh, but yeah I think I made a lot of improvements today as far as um, just in general uh, skating in general I feel a lot more confident in doing it and uh, in doing it and so you know I'm looking forward to uh, I'm uh, working more on it. Oh, yeah, I got my hockey pants today. I got um, Bauer. I don't know what they are, but I just know that they're medium and huge. <laughs> uh, so I'm looking forward to trying them out this week. I um, I might not actually be able to go to the pond this week, but I because um, I have a podcast uh, that I got to do this week. But if I can, I will. Uh so yeah that's basically it uh if you have anything if y'all have anything that you've seen that i'm absolutely doing wrong uh suggestions of exercises i could do things i could focus on i really appreciate them uh, i really appreciate everyone who's given me feedback so far and uh, yeah once again thanks for watching